Good morning, everybody. Welcome to San Antonio Living. I'm Shelly Miles. We are starting things a little differently. Instead of making food for you this morning, we're making food for your pets. Krista is here from Krista's Culinary Creations. It's good to see nice you. Nice to see you, too. Yeah, normally you're here whipping up, you know, some yes. great food for the family, baked goods, which is your passion. Yes. And, of course, you're very good at that. But what inspired you to start looking at what we're feeding our pets? We adopted four years ago two little lab puppies uh -huh. and we immediately became interested in making their life as healthy as possible. Okay, and I've got a picture of Max and Marley. Yes, your lab puppies and also your kitty cat, which yes, is fantastic. Reese. Here's the pups. They are so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Yes, and what we're making today, you know, with variations, it can also work for cats, right? Absolutely. Reese gets the first pick, we put it down and she comes at the dogs. I love that. Okay, there's been a big push towards going towards healthier food yes, for dogs and cats. And a lot of it is because, you know, people think that the, the kibble that we're feeding them, it's dry, it's old, it's got all the preservatives <laughs> it in really it. It really is nasty. Yeah, so this is a way to maybe do something special for your pets. It is a lot of work, I'm not gonna lie. It is, it is a lot of work and we'll do it for you. You we're will. We're also gonna start doing classes because a lot of people okay. are interested. And it's, a, it's expensive if you go to the grocery store and try to buy it yeah. already put together. Okay, so what do we start with? It's like a base, chicken? Base, our dogs love chicken. You okay. can do, it, we, this is just oven roasted chicken, no seasonings, no spices, okay. no additive oils or anything, just plain. Yeah, dogs we just, don't need spices, We right? just <laughs> dice this up. And you know, if you've got big dogs and they want, you know, big pieces, you know, if you, we do it smaller so Reese, our little cat, can eat some. Okay, so dice me up some chicken, we'll get that going. Yes. And this is something that you could do at home. I mean, there's a lot of information yep. online about how to do this, what not to do, what not to add, what to add. Uh, of yes. course, Krista's done all the research for you this morning, so she's gonna get us started. Yeah. And depending on how big your dogs are, you know, you gotta kind of mush things up for size, yes. right? And this is all, it's all ingredients that we can eat for until sure. we get to the eggshells. Okay. But the eggshells are something that is so good for their So skin I can mash and, this up yep. with the eggshells and yes. the eggs included? Yes. Okay. And then you just want to, and I've got some that are already added if you want to just add. Wouldn't some. it be nice if you could make your egg salad this way and not have to deal with peeling oh, them? I know it's so it. nice. I know it. All right, so we've got our chicken. We're going to add in some, some eggs, eggs with, with the shells. With Why the, the shells? shells, yes. Why? Just because they've got nutrients? It has a lot of nutrients yeah. and it really helps get their teeth cleaned, their coats oh, cleaned. So smart. Okay. Peas? Yes, yes peas. And some shredded, shredded carrots. carrots. I know carrots, a lot of people give carrots to their dogs yes. as treats. And then you can incorporate other things and just kind of see how they how they like it and how they... Now this is a, a chopped up version for maybe a big dog. And You've got it mushed up for like little, little guys. Little, yeah, little dogs or cat cats. My cat loves it. And oh my gosh, I love that. Okay, so if you're ordering your dog food from Krista, this is how it comes. Yes. How often Small, should we be picking it up? Like once a week, would you say? Once a week, but it freezes great. So we'll make... Oh, for, smart. Yes, okay. we'll make a huge batch and then we freeze it at home. And I portion it in this because that's kind of like serving yeah, sizes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's ready to go. Okay, so it in the you can pick this up. You can order this for your dogs from Krista. You're yes. going to be hosting some classes we to help are. people There's, learn how to do yes, this at home. I love that. Absolutely. And then you also whipped up some healthy dog treats yes. this morning. And you said these are three ingredients? Yep, cornmeal, egg, and chicken stock. Cornmeal, egg, and chicken stock. Yes. I love it. Yes. Okay, guys, I love all of this stuff. And Krista always brings such the best setup. I mean, you can pick up the dog treats from her. You've yes. got those for sale at the shop, right? Yes. Okay. On all different shapes. These happen to be cats. My dogs love cat shaped things that they can so gobble cute. up because so we cute. won't let them gobble up Reese. I love that. I love that. And of course, you can also find meals for yourself at Krista's Culinary yes. Creations. It's yes. not just the animals that we are feeding. Krista also sells her amazing honey, which you brought in this yes. morning. Yes. I know Rebecca is a huge fan of your honey. She yes. loves it. You can pick that up there. And for more information like classes, ongoing things at Krista's, all you need to do is find her on Facebook. Thanks, Krista. Oh, yes. Always good to see you guys. You can find Krista at Krista's Culinary Creations on Facebook. She is over at 7824 Mainland Drive, right here in San Antonio. And if you've got questions, you wanna know about those classes or you wanna order your dog food, food, give her a call at 210-422-7026 for more details.